Look at hey, this, hey. Joey Funkhauser. Hey, so have you shown him the ropes? Yeah, we're getting it down now. Fast learner. Oh, yeah? The only question I have is, where's the uh, the tip jar? Oh, no, no tip jar. No tipping? No, that's, that's demeaning. It turns us into uh, beggars. Yeah, you yeah. think? We might as well be outside with a, with a cup. Uh-oh, what? what happens now? No. <laughs> Ah, oh, 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 oh boy, this, yeah. this is a big moment. Oh, that's a big moment. Yes, yeah. indeed. Let's go to the back, to the storeroom, mm -hmm. and get changed there. Okay, great. Right. Hey, as long as you're going to the storeroom, show them how to charge the uh, the self-eating cups. Yes, indeed. I'm trying to talk Larry. It's putting up no lamp and signs all over the fucking place. People would stay too fucking long. No, no. Sorry, we haven't met, have we? No. Uh-uh. Okay. No. No, we haven't. Okay, I'm Alice. Um, I'm Buck. Nice to meet you, Buck. Nice to meet you. Hey, Larry! Where the apron? They're behind the Purell. Can't find the fucking apron. Are you Latte Larry? Yes. Oh. Buck's my nickname. That's what my friends call me. How'd you get to Buck from Larry? I like to watch a lot of westerns. What's your favorite? Blue skies over the canyon. Well, I just moved in the neighborhood, so I'll see you around. Oh, great. Um, hi. Can I get a medium latte? Yeah, it's so crazy. She's completely normal, but she just doesn't seem to remember me or ever working for me or anything to do with me. So she suffered memory loss from the choking on the scone. And that got me out of the lawsuit, the whole thing. Oh, it's Tara and Will. Look, you're getting bigger every minute. I know. Oh, my know. God, I have to touch it. <laughs> Please. Come on in. Hello. Oh, hi. I'm the Larry you've heard so much about. Oh, yes. Yeah. How do so you do? So nice to finally doing. meet you. Hi. Yeah. How are you doing? Hi. Will. I Will. Yeah. Any minute now, I think. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, any minute. Jeez. Oh, boy. You know, I impregnated somebody once. Huh? Yeah. We broke up in the abortion clinic. How about that? You've never told me that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. Just so you know, while you're here, I don't know how to deliver a baby. Okay. How, do you, how do you induce labor? Can you scare someone into labor? I don't know. Is that know. possible? I, I mean, maybe it's possible. I think it's something we want to avoid. Why would you want to do that? A baby should come when it's naturally supposed to come. Who needs Mr. Oh, Budinsky over here? It's hypothetical. It's just a hypothetical. Let's say you had a bet with a friend. You see a pregnant woman, who, a big pregnant woman, walking down the street. You make a $50 bet with this friend that you can induce labor by scaring her. You go into the bushes, she's walking down the street, and all of a sudden you jump out. Ah! Uh, you in the bushes? Yeah. For 50 bucks, you're going in the bushes? Yeah, but it's hypothetical. See if you can induce labor. Well, what happens if she goes into labor? Yeah, what happens if you win? Yeah. I, I drive her to the hospital. OK, let's say you're driving her to the hospital, and along the way to the hospital, she starts giving birth in your car. Well, that's a problem. you got to really think these hypotheticals out, because they always end poorly. OK, I won't scare her. OK. Yeah, thank you. Have you thought about the, um, the skin color at all? I'm sorry? You know, the tone, would you prefer it's, it's, a, it's a little darker? I would imagine you might prefer it to be a little darker as opposed to lighter, no? Well, I, I mean, I've never even thought about it, huh. but I guess it's like darker, I guess. Yeah, I would think, what? right? Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. 